1987, um, our 7-Eleven team was over in Switzerland racing the Tour of Switzerland. And my teammate Andy Hampston had just joined the 7-Eleven team again. Before that year, the year prior, he was racing with Lavi Claire, had won the Tour of Switzerland, Bernard Hinault and Greg LeMond. In 1987, Andy switched to the 7-Eleven cycling team. He was in the same position to win the Tour of Switzerland. And on the very last stage, he was nine seconds over his uh, competitor, Peter Winnen. Oh, I mean, tomorrow we got our work cut out for us. <laughs> a lot of work. And the last day there was a sprint, 25 kilometers from the start, and it was a gold sprint. If you won the sprint, you got a gold coin. And if you, you would also get a 10 second time bonus. If I'm in the position to go for the gold sprint for the 10 seconds, then I'll try to take it away from winning. So we thought as a 7-Eleven team, oh, it's no big deal, Andy's in the lead, he can beat this little Dutch guy, Peter Winnen. Well, lo and behold, Right when the race started, the Panasonic team who Peter went and rode for got right to the front and they started controlling the race. And our 7-Eleven team was like, oh man, this is pretty serious. And so as we got closer to this gold sprint, a couple guys tried to attack and get away and the Panasonic team brought it all together and we knew that was really serious. Well, the team plan before the sprint was to get everybody up to the front and just sprint and see who could win the sprint. Well, Panasonic, they assigned a rider to every rider. They assigned one to their competitors. So as we got closer to this uh, finish line, 25 kilometers into the race, each Panasonic rider started knocking a 7-Eleven guy off the wheel. So five kilometers before the sprint, we were all single file. Then all of a sudden these Panasonic riders would come up, hit the rider, and take him out of the wheel, try to get them to go to the back. And I was riding along three kilometers before the finish and all of a sudden this little rider, Toon Van Vliet, just comes up and just blasts me and takes me all the way across the road. Doug Adelortsen is in the weeds and Bob Roll is getting smashed. Well, we managed to regroup and it's 500 meters to the finish line and I see Peter Winnen, who's the guy that needs the time bonus, on the wheel of Didi Toureau, who's a former Tour de France rider and the Panasonic riders had created a wall up a front and Didi Toureau is taking Peter Winnen around the outside. But there's Bob Roll on the wheel. I'm like, oh, Bob can beat it. So I just relax for a moment. And as Bob starts getting ready to start sprinting, he pulls his foot out of the cleats because he didn't have a very good pedal technique. He was, you know, pretty choppy at that time. So he pulls his foot out of the cleat and he's pedaling it along and I see Peter Winnen rolling along off the front getting ready to win this gold sprint. So I put my head down and I sprint as hard as I can. And as I get to that line in the road, I remember just throwing my bike at the line and I look over and I see this big grin on Peter Winnen's face just melt away like And I beat Peter Winnen just by a centimeter to keep Andy Hampton's uh, overall victory of the Tour of Switzerland. I probably wouldn't have been there when and when I got the sprint, but you know that's why we were all up there. You know, no one could beat us. Uh, I think it's really cool that last year I won this, the first American to win it. But this year I came back with an American team, and it's really proven that right now cycling's an American sport. It's no longer an outside sport.